What's going on everyone? Today we're talking about Baby Doge and we're also going to talk about some of the general market things because we're about to get some good news coming into the crypto market or maybe it's going to be bad news. But tomorrow is going to be a really big day and we're going to talk about why. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Let's get straight to it. So first things first, looking here at Baby Doge 8Z25. So that's pretty decent. We're up 5.6% in the last 24 hours. Very good right now in the last seven days, up 7% with Baby Doge. So very good with the percentages. Um, still 82.2% .2 in the last 30 days. That's still fairly good. So, I mean, yeah, we had some, uh, you know, we had some mishaps went down in the last 14 days by 18.2%. But overall, Baby Doge is still doing um, fairly well. So I really wouldn't be too worried about that. So a few other things I do want to show here. Bitcoin at 70.7K. This is important because we're about to have some big news coming out for the Federal Reserve. Remember, Jerome Powell is going to be speaking to the people. So if you look down here, that's why I also like using trading view. Fed Chair Powell's speech on the 29th, which is tomorrow. So tomorrow, this is going to be the telltale signal. Whether or not we're going to break past this uh, resistance here or if we're going to go down below our support. So we're going to see what happens here. Um, our resistance being all the way up here at 74K and then our support being all the way down here at 60K. So if tomorrow goes good, then we're going to break past 74K. If it goes bad, we're going to go down to 60K. Now, I also just want to uh, show what comes after 74K. You can see here at the top of the momentum wave band, Bitcoin is going to have little to no resistance going all the way up to about 83K. Like 83K, 83.5K, it's going to go around there, right? I'll, I'll just say, you know, for good measures, from 80 to 83k yeah that's what it looks like bitcoin's gonna do if tomorrow is good so we could have a really big movements tomorrow maybe it doesn't do all that in one day obviously but like over the next week like it's really possible for us to get up there to like 83 84k but the reason why this is so important for baby doge is because it's going to let the bit the price of baby doge go all the way up now i'll do a whole technical analysis on bitcoin on why i believe that you know, we're, we're still bullish here with Bitcoin. Every single time we drop with Bitcoin, we are immediately met by rises in the price. That's because every single time it drops, the whales are buying in at the bottom. The institutional investors, the big money people, they're buying every single time it drops. So regular retail um, traders are selling. And then once they sell, the whales buy what they're selling. And then they pump the price right back up. So they're pretty much printing money. Now, this matters a lot for Baby Doge because obviously everything's following Bitcoin. Like I said, I'll do a whole technical analysis on Bitcoin. I prefer to do it tomorrow after the Jerome Powell speech, so then we have a really good, um, so we have a really good path to follow. So I'm, I'm going to do the Bitcoin technical analysis tomorrow after the speech. But as for now, just kind of looking at the Baby Doge prices. Right now, we're really riding the support. Like we're not wanting to go below the support at all and that's the support all the way down here that i was talking about before the support brings us down to um 8z2350 so let's just say 8z2300 just to make it easier but yeah 8z2300 we're staying right above that support but if jerome powell speech is bad we'll easily drop down to about 8z19 8z20 around there and then we have another support here around 8z1500 now Typically, what we see here, you can see how things are kind of brewing up here with the momentum wave bands. And these are the chart prime momentum wave bands. I'll link in the description if you want to check those out. But when these wave bands get thinner and thinner like this, that means that we're coming into a crunch. We're really squeezing it in here. And what I mean by that, we're literally probably going to have a pump coming very soon. So whenever it just gets very, very thin like that, that's usually a signal that we're coming in on like a consolidation point. So it's almost like Baby Doge is consolidating, not even just Baby Doge, but also like Bitcoin. It's almost like there's a huge consolidation phase just brewing up right now. Now, some people may say, hey, no, it's not. This is just, you know, this is just normal movement. I don't see this as normal movement. I see this as a consolidation phase. There's a reason why we pulled back very briefly and then Bitcoin immediately started to pump right after that. 
we are inside of a brief consolidation phase because typically consolidation phases last, you know, around this same, this amount of time, like a month. Like you can kind of see like from the 2nd of March till now, it's really been consolidating, trying to find its price point. And now Baby Doge has that potential to pump out of there. So when that happens, you know, if it pumps out from there, there's little to no resistance. And I know I say this a lot, and but that's just because I mean it. I mean, it. there's little to no resistance for Baby Doge once it gets past this point. Let me take off this line first. But once it gets past this little point right here, once we get out of that consolidation phase, little to no resistance leading up to 8Z3200. Then if it passes 8Z3200, then the next resistance is going to be 8Z3800. Then if it passes 8Z3800, there's little to no resistance leading up to 8Z4400. So we really only have to worry about three different resistance lines. Well, technically four because our consolidation, we got to get past 8Z2700. Once we get past there, it's straight up from there going to 8Z3200, then going up to 8Z3800, then going up to 8Z4400. But those are our three, or well, technically four levels because of this one down here, the consolidation. But those are our four levels that we really have to pass here for Baby Doge. And if the news tomorrow for the um, Jerome Powell speech is good news, then we're probably going to end up seeing, you know, us breaking out past that. Um, some people could even argue, hey, this looks like a, a head and shoulder pattern. So that's hey that you can also say that. So there's there's always a different opinion that everyone has and that everyone can bring to the table. But I still see us on a very good pattern actually here with this. And let's just go ahead and like take off some of these indicators for a second, just to kind of look at the raw, you know, just to kind of look at the raw charts here of Bitcoin. I know I said I'm gonna do a whole video um, tomorrow. I am gonna do a whole technical analysis on Bitcoin tomorrow. It'll be a lot easier once we finally get that meeting. But um, even looking at the RSI on the daily chart, you can see what's brewing up here. Like it's still going up. So on the daily chart for the RSI, we should still have some more pumps coming in. Like I said, 83, 80 to 84 K somewhere around there. It looks like we're going to be hitting the 80 Ks very soon here for Bitcoin. So I would definitely say prepare for that. Um, and also if we take off all of this good stuff here and we just kind of look at the charts, you can kind of see that we, we've been on a straight uptrend for like the longest time here with Bitcoin. And if Bitcoin were to like, let's say tomorrow everything goes bad and we just crash, then what you would probably see is Bitcoin. Maybe like I don't even want to say coming back to the 40K areas because nothing goes straight down like that. It typically will do like a sideways movement and then it would meet the chart here, probably meeting it around like 50K and then having a huge breakout from there. That's if everything goes bad and we just dump. So maybe a pullback to 50K if everything goes bad and it dumps. But I don't see that happening. I truly think that we're probably going to have another pump. And this is kind of crazy saying because we've been going crazy this whole time. So it's it's possible that it continues to run up like it's been doing. So that's kind of what I'm looking towards here. Um, if not, if it doesn't run up, you know, like I said, we should be pulling back to like 50 to 60K. And then we should have, you know, some good pumps coming from there. But we'll see. We'll see. Everything's been good here, though, with Bitcoin. I'll keep you all updated on that. So, you know, just stay tuned. Tomorrow is going to be a big day. Like I said, stay tuned for that because, yeah, it's going to be a big day tomorrow. Now, as for Baby Doge, we got to wait for Bitcoin. Bitcoin does well, goes up to 80 to 84K, like I was mentioning. We're probably going to see Baby Doge get up to 8Z, well, past 8Z3800. Because remember, 8Z3800 was just, you know, that's just the beginning. But typically when we see Baby Doge do these pumps, it'll do like 40% in a, in a day. And then it'll do like 40% in the next day. Then the next day it might do another 40%. So like if this happens and Baby Doge goes up by like, let's say 40 to 50%, we would probably end up going like halfway up there somewhere up to around 8Z3500, 8Z4400, somewhere around here. Well, let's just say 8Z3800. And then after the next day, if we get out like another 40% jump, you're probably going to see it going up a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more eventually till it gets to its all-time high. And Baby Doge's all-time high is not that far from now. Baby Doge's all-time high is at 8Z6300, 8Z6345. So we're not that far from there. Right, we're only about 120, 150 percent, give or take, probably less than that, but like 120, 150 percent, somewhere around there, to our all-time high. So 
there is a lot of potential here with Baby Doge and a lot of potential here with Bitcoin. But I'll let you guys know exactly what's going to be happening inside of the near future here. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Hit that like button and subscribe. And as always, I'll be back with another video.